Yo, what's going on, Kings and Queens? It's your boy Chaz Jackson coming back to you once again, representing GNG Gift and a Gift. I just want to take the time to tell you thank you for giving me your eyes and your ears once again as we create a dive deep into a new topic. And I pray that it becomes some inspiration to you out there, Kings and Queens. And uh, I pray that it plants like a seed in your mind and it will help you flourish into a greater version of yourselves. Now, this new topic, it was actually inspired to me uh, by a family member of mine. And I, uh, you know, I seen him uh, a few weeks ago and uh, he actually got a new tattoo and he got him on both of his hands. And the tattoo, uh, or tattoo said stereotype. Now, if you don't know what stereotype is, it's whenever you either a race or a group of people that is uh, being judged by someone and they don't even really know you. So stereotype is on his hands. And the first uh, deal for me is I was stereotyping them in my mind because I was like, man, why would you do something like that? Uh, you're going to make it hard for you to become a professional in America because no one's going to really take you seriously for getting that on your hands. But I didn't say that to him because I caught myself and was saying, man, Chaz, you don't have no way or no pur purpose to be judging anybody. Man, you got way too much baggage to be looking down on anybody. If that's what he want to do, then so be it. He's going to have to deal with it. He's a grown man. But the second thing that came to my mind was, you know, even though I didn't agree with him getting those tattoos, that maybe, man, he was right about some things, right? Um, you know, when I think about it, my opinion, black males in general are stereotypes in America. And, you know, I watched a documentary the other night, man, and I mean, it just blew my mind. It's a great documentary. And it's called The 13th Amendment. If you've never seen it, it's on uh, Netflix, man. I uh, uh, encourage you to watch it, man. It's life-changing. And pretty much what the 13th Amendment is, and I'm going to paraphrase it, is and it, that is the amendment that the amendment that abolished slavery except uh, if you are to be arrested, you are still able to be considered a slave within the system. So slavery was abolished uh, except if you uh, committed a crime or anything of that nature, you will uh, have to be prosecuted and placed in you know, correctional facility and pretty much be considered a slave in that area. And this documentary just told me some profound statistics about the black male. Obviously, it's talked about how, you know, 5% uh, of the world population is in America. And 25% of American citizens is locked up in jail as we speak, 25%, and 13% of the people that's locked up is African-American males. That's over half of that population. It also went on to go and say that one out of three black males are locked up in prison. That's the statistic. One out of three black males will be locked up in prison. And I mean, man, this just blew my mind, and it talked about how you know, the media has portrayed black males or black people in general as being criminals. It's being criminals because every time you turn on the news, you see some black male getting arrested, getting into trouble. And pretty much how this ties into stereotype is, regardless if you've been arrested or not, a lot of times society is going to see you as a criminal based off of the track record that we have as black males. Now, not judging anybody out there, not judging because I have no place of being a judge. You know, I've, again, done my share of dirt in the past. And, and what I encourage each and every black male to, to seek and to understand, and I want to throw two questions out there. Obviously, this society has uh, placed us with a big idea of being the criminal, being the criminal, right? It's statistics out there that I just shared. We have that stereotype. So the first question I want to ask you, King, is one, 
you have that stereotype. So what are we going to do to prove that stereotype wrong? Obviously, we can't change anybody else's thoughts about it. But what can we do as a black male to prove that stereotype wrong? Because we are greater. I truly believe that we are greater uh, than criminals, right? And the second uh, question I want to throw out there is us as black men or black males, what can we do within ourselves to be able to leave for the next generation to help prepare them uh, for dealing with that stereotype and also to overcome that stereotype, right? And uh, man, I'm really, really uh, profound about that. I really is deep in my heart to help change that. And for me, man, with GNG, I hope I can inspire each and every black male to not live up to that stereotype, to know that they're greater, that they can accomplish anything that they put their minds to, right? And, and we uh, can be life changers, man. We can be life changers in our families, uh, let's try to keep the males out of jail, right? Get that statistic down. And the only way we're going to get that down, we can't look at the government to bring that down. That has to be changed within ourselves, kings and queens. And um, for the queens out there, man, expire, inspire those men uh, to become greater versions of themselves to not add to that statistic. But anyways, that's my topic for today. Let me know about those two questions that I threw out there, men. This was specifically for the black male. But, man, that goes with any race, to be honest with you. Um, but let me know what you think about that. Stay up with GNG. More videos coming soon. And remember, we are God Deco. Peace.